last week in Mike's Mix, we had a debate. We had homemade eggnog mm -hmm. in Mike's Mix, and then that got us talking. Do we like eggnog better, or do we like Tom and Jerry's better? So, mm -hmm. we did a poll on our website and on my Facebook page, and the results are in. The people have spoken. Natalie loses. <laughs> By how much? Not by much. Okay. Natalie, a fan of the Tom and Jerry's, uh, and you had 46% of the votes. Okay. Uh, the uh, eggnog got 54% of the votes. And what was interesting about the eggnog is literally real eggs. So is Tom and Jerry, which was a surprise to Natalie. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to show you how to make the Tom and Jerry at home, even though they did lose. We go to Spoon and Stable this week for Mike's Mix. It's my gift to you. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Tom and Jerry's, for you, a thing or not a thing? Not a thing. Not until much, much later in life. Growing up in White Bear Lake, the only Tom and Jerry bartender Rob Jones knew were the cat and mouse. Six years ago, that changed when Rob first made the cocktail. Um, Tom and Jerry's is like, like the hot version of eggnog. It was actually invented by a British journalist in the 1820s. Um, but it gained popu more popularity in the Midwest, which makes sense because it's colder here. Now, when it snows six inches or more, Rob offers a Tom and Jerry on the menu at Spoon and Stable. The reason for that is it's a little labor intensive and you're going to be a little bit slower when the snow starts right. to hit. So what is the liquor base for the Tom and Jerry? Uh, for this one, we're using uh, overproof Jamaican rum. Um, this is Smith and Cross. It's delicious. It's funky. It's got everything you want in a Jamaican rum. Okay. It's got a little bit of barrel, too. Yeah, you just try a little bit. No, I'm not going to do that. Start by combining the rum with sugar in the raw, demerara sugar. Then season it. First with Bitter Cube's Bolivar bitters, then... Allspice, cardamom, clove. And then we're going to add the egg yolks right to this. I work on combining that while Rob whisks air into the egg whites, forming a soft meringue. I wasn't raised on mixers. I wasn't raised in doing work in my own segment. When the egg whites form soft peaks, fold them into the batter. In the meantime, you've been warming milk on the stove, right? Do it slowly so it doesn't scald, resulting in a burned taste. In this case, we're using almond milk. You can use any milk you want. Now it's time to build the drink in a mug. Start with the rum. We're not measuring today. No. Because, you know, we're at home. It's the holidays. We're wow, <laughs> you are really not measuring. A whole bunch of rum in here. <laughs> Add another dash of bitters. Spoon the batter into the mug and add milk on top. Something to look forward to Yeah. when it snows. When it snows. Is there a lot of rum in there? <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> it's not overpowering at all. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. <clears throat> it's pretty strong, Mike. Well, cheers. 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 Happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays. Here, Adam, I got you this Christmas present. It's a wallet. Whoa. Uh, dude, that's mine. <clears throat> Rob's eyes were watering. He made it so strong. The other two were were, 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 were correct. Yeah. Sometimes you make them strong. Look, you're at home. Recipes on our website, wcco.com slash Mike's Mix. And keep in mind, when it snows, you can probably get one of those at Spoon and Stable in Minneapolis.